20th January, 1946. Medication without treatment. When the personal attendants of Bhagavan were advised by doctors to give him food containing vitamins to relieve the pain in the legs, they began doing so and were also massaging his legs with some special ointment. They were thus serving him to the best of their ability. Bhagavan used to say humorously, a guest comes to your house. If you are indifferent towards him, you will go away early. But if you show great respect towards him, and are very attentive, you will never go. So is disease. If you attend to the disease in the manner you are doing now, why should it go? If you take no notice of it, it will disappear of its own accord. Some time ago, a young man set up an establishment about a mile from the ashram on the road round the hill saying he could cure diseases by giving vibhuti. People get mad over such things, don't they? People who were diseased, possessed, and the like started going in crowds to see that vibhuti swami, and on their way they used to come to our ashram also. What is there at this ashram, they would say. No vibhuti? No magic lockets? They used to have darshan and then go away. On such occasions, if any attendants happened to be massaging his legs with medicated oil, Bhagavan used to say in a lighter vein, Excellent! This is also good in a way. When these people see me thus, they would say, This Swami himself is suffering from pains in the legs and is getting massaged by others. What can he do for us? And then they would go away without coming anywhere near me. So far, so good. Four days back, Bhagavan called all the doctors and showed them a news item which he read in the newspapers about a person who was reported to have died as a result of too much of vitamin food and vitamin injections. The next day, the news appeared in another newspaper. Showing it again, he began saying like a child, For the last two years, a lot of vitamins are being given to me saying that it is all good for my body. Not satisfied with it, they tried to give injections also. See what has happened to this person reported in the newspapers? It is said that a great yogi enjoys bliss as if he were a little boy or an insane person. He knows everything but conducts himself as if he knows nothing. If he so desires, Cannot Bhagavan cure all diseases? Can he not cure himself? He leaves it to others. That is because he never looks upon the body as his own. Two or three years back, when Bhagavan had jaundice, he could not relish his food and felt a great dislike for food. For about a week or ten days, he ate only popcorns and the like. As Echamal and Mudalai Pati have a vow that they will not eat until Bhagavan takes at least a morsel of food cooked by them, he used to take a few grains from the rice brought by these ladies and mix them with popcorn, and somehow swallowed the food so that their diksha might remain unimpaired. There is no limit to his benevolence and consideration for the feelings of his devotees, whatever the occasion might be. He does not allow others to feel hurt or grieved in any manner. A number of doctors were giving him medicines to cure the jaundice brother. For their satisfaction, Bhagavan used to take the medicines, and for the satisfaction of these ladies, he used to eat their food. The good effects of the former and the bad effects of the latter neutralize themselves. Months passed by, and the jaundice persisted. A reputed doctor from Madras was called. The result was the same. After all had come and gone, and after all medicines had been tried without success, he cured himself of jaundice in no time with dry ginger, papalu, epicac, and other Ayurvedic herbal medicines. Let anyone venture to ask how the disease 
was cured.